Nicholas Nook. So in today's video, we're just kind of going to be doing a couple of things around the house because yeah. tomorrow is actually Christmas Eve Eve. <laughs> and it begins by family visiting yes. for like a week straight. So yeah. over a week. This is like our last quiet time, just me, you, Chief and Chewy. Mm -hmm. um, but we still have a lot of work to do. Which we're very grateful that they're going to be. Oh here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's also, you know, more you know, a lot of stuff around the house it's it just gets more congested and it's loud and i love having family visit but um yeah. it can be overwhelming sometimes and then mm -hmm. um so we just want to get everything picked up as much as possible and i still have presents to wrap because i did last minute shopping today yeah i was gone like all morning so we actually went our separate ways i went to one mall and he went to the other and I, yeah. I really actually had no Christmas shopping to do. I only meant to go to Walmart for like one stocking stuffer for my mom. But I figured that I may as well go to the mall because I ran out of something that I had to go to Sephora for. And when I was there, I kind of got distracted and went to a lot of other stores. <laughs> so, oops. It's okay. But So anyway, this is probably going to be a pretty short vlog just because it's getting kind of late now. And we still need to eat dinner. And basically, we're just going to get a couple of things ready for my family. Everything is pretty much cleaned, except for the guest bathroom. We'll probably need to scrub out that toilet once more in the shower, um, just because I did use that shower, actually, when we had someone coming to fix the tub. Right. So, and we got some laundry to do, because I'll probably need to yeah. do laundry as well. So we'll go ahead and get all, all of our laundry done and um, fold it and put it away. I started to wrap my gifts. Yeah. And, um, so we're not really sure what's going to be in this vlog quite yet. So you guys are just going to kind of come around the house with us tonight. Yeah. So enjoy. Who's a good boy? Catch. So as you can see, we just kind of have some laundry that we have folded on the couch, but we need to put away. And there's still a lot of like wrapping stuff going on over there at the dining room table. So anyway, we have some things to put away. The kitchen isn't too bad. I cleaned that this morning. So yeah, all of our Christmas cards are over on the entryway table over here. I've just kind of been putting them over there. But I do need to go into our baby girl's room and that is where we're gonna set up the air mattress for my brother. So since we only have one guest room, this is where I usually put my brother when they come to visit, just because we have a queen size air mattress. And that is the air mattress right there that Chief's getting into. Then we just have a couple of pillows, a blanket, and then a sheet set and some pillowcases. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blow that up here so that that is ready for him when he gets here tomorrow. Oh, Chaz is testing out the diaper bag. What do you think? It's pretty good. Does We're gonna have to loosen it. <laughs> She probably could. We're gonna have to loosen it because that's really high on you. <laughs> <laughs> Big man and little bag. That is little on you. Oh my goodness. There. You gotta cut it some slack. Is that better? Yeah. How's it look? Well, yeah, don't stand like <laughs> take, take your thumbs out. Take your thumbs out there. What? That's why people bottle backpacks. Oh, really? I think so. Looking good, babe. Thanks. <laughs> Won't you sing out your frustration? Just say a word. Keep on staring at the pavement. God knows who hurts. Spell it out. 
So again, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but my brother is in college and he really doesn't mind. And he's only gonna be in this bed for a few days. And then my parents will have our actual guest room. And then this is where my parents will be staying. So this is our actual guest room. And the air mattress is just if we have anyone extra, just because we don't have a second guest room. So my parents will be staying in here. So I got my sister some bear wing perfume. Princess, and then I got her a waterproof speaker for her to listen to her music in the shower. No, she, that was me. That was me, okay. So I just found this under the tree. This is a, the package that Chaz just wrapped. So it says, to dad from Chaz and Jess. But you guys, What's wrong with it? Honey, you put the tag on the messy side. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I did that. I thought you were going to show me how it's done. That's how it's done, right there. <laughs> All right, so while Chaz is wrapping, I decided to get our dinner ready. Now you guys know we went and saw some Christmas lights last night, and this is the crock pot meal that I had made that we didn't ever get to, um, just because we got in late, we ended up stopping at Whataburger on the way home and eating that. But I'm gonna show you guys what we have. So this is a vegetarian chili mac, and I absolutely love this recipe. This is one of our go-to recipes. I will link it down below for you guys. But we just added some chicken that Chaz had left over in the refrigerator, some sour cream, and green onions, and salsa. And then mine just is the vegetarian, it doesn't have the chicken. So that is it, that's what's for dinner tonight. So by the way, anything that we don't put in the dryer, I usually just hang up over here to air dry, and then I fluff it in the dryer to de-wrinkle once they're actually dry, just that way they don't shrink. So like these matching family PJ pants, these would shrink if I put them in the dryer, and we don't want any high waters. <laughs> so I put them up here. And then once they're dry, probably in the morning, I'll toss them in the dryer for a few minutes just to get the wrinkles out before I fold them and put them away. Which has his funny sneeze attack right now. I don't know if you guys can hear. Sometimes he gets to sneezing so much, I mean, sometimes. What was the longest, or what was the most? 36? Yeah. It was something crazy like that, where he sneezed like 30 times in a row or something, so.
morning guys. It is the next day. Jesse and I were pretty exhausted yesterday, so we didn't get to finish everything. So we're continuing the video into uh, this morning. So uh, yeah, Jesse yesterday, she went and did a lot of shopping and she said it was her first day of actually like really feeling like pregnant. Her like lower back was starting to hurt. She had a hard time moving and um, yeah, she just wasn't having it. Um, a good pregnancy day so um, she just really wanted to, to go to sleep and get some good rest and uh, we got up this morning she's been up for a while and now she's getting ready and yeah so basically we are going to continue our cleaning um, and picking up for Jesse's family that is going to be getting here at 2 p.m. so we have a couple hours and we plan to pick up all the kitchen and finish wrapping back there if you can see. So I need to finish wrapping my family's presents so we can get all of this out of the way. I would like to finish the, the painting there. I got a, a wood scraping tool yesterday at Home Depot so um, that will make that job go a lot quicker. And then do some dishes because we had some leftovers that Jesse cleaned out of the fridge and yeah we got some cookies to make because we're gonna make some of your Christmas cookie recipes that you left in the comment section so stay tuned for that video hey chief oh you know there's things in here for you huh so we've gotten chief some Christmas presents and he found out where they were. We hit him in here. So he's got a heck of a nose for smelling like those squeaker, uh, the rubber squeakers. I think they have a certain scent to him. And he can smell it as soon as we bring one in the door in the Walmart bag. You gotta wait till Christmas. Come on. Come on. You gotta wait. You know. You don't understand, do you? So the only thing we need to do in the guest bathroom is kind of just pick up a little bit. Um, just Jesse had a shower in here the other day um, because the bathtub was being worked on in our master bedroom bathroom. So that towel needs to go. This towel needs to scrub the toilet and probably just rinse out um, the shower here really quick. All right, so that is what we're gonna start working on. So this is my dad's knife. <clears throat> and one thing that my dad loves to do is leave hints or like a riddle on each of his presents. And I think he actually gets more excited about us guessing the riddle than the actual present. So I'm gonna leave him a riddle for the knife. So, I have no idea. I kind of, I never guess his riddles correctly or, or his hints. I guess it's more of a hint. Um, I don't think he'll get this one. Looking sharp. So I picked up everything off the table, but I'm not going to wipe it down yet because I'm going to be getting wood shavings all over the place when I'm scraping the remaining wood glue and wood from when I tore off the trim up there. So uh, I got a new tool. I'm going to 
scrape everything off so that I can paint it real quick before family arrives and then do a few changes to the, the sliding barn door. Okay, while that coat is drying, I'm going to adjust the barn door stopping point. Originally, I put it to where this side was flush with the end over here. And <clears throat> we've realized that we actually like the door to stop center for those even spacing between here and here. So I'm gonna put the door where it is and then I can slide this stopper to, uh, to this port here, to make it stop there. All right, so this is the finished product. It turned out so, so good. I absolutely love it. Yeah, so I think it turned out really good. Um, a few hiccups along the way installing this because the rollers are higher than the actual shell, higher than the actual shelves, so I had to remove the trim. I still have to put one coat on here. You can see it's a little bit lighter. But um, yeah, I love the farm door. We actually got this rough cut uh, farm style wood 
from Home De uh, Esche, Esche Lowe's and I built this with no plans so this is my first kind of from scratch piece of work. Yeah, and no, it turned out really, really good. Yeah, I actually like... So this is what it's this. covering. That's why we built yeah. the barn door, just to hide <laughs> <laughs> this not so pretty side. This is my so. gaming setup. Yeah. Yeah. I keep my computer and all my games and Xbox in there. Yeah. So when I'm done cleaning, when I'm done playing, we can keep it hidden. And then it's pretty. And then you guys can hear all the dishes kind of, you know, clinking together. We're probably going to do something else once baby girl's here, but for now we're just going to leave it like that and then we'll figure out what we want to do with this shelving when mm -hmm. it gets closer to her being here. So, mm -hmm. yeah. We can put all our baby bottles in there. <laughs> all right, guys. So as you can see, I've curled my hair. We're about to film our Q&A. We only have a little bit of time before my family gets here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to get that done for you guys as well today. So thank you guys so much for joining us. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Bye, guys. See you then.